while he was fighting yeah, three battles. We can uh, we can get out and walk back along here, Jack. If you want to take a bit of oh, okay. What have, have you ever uh, studied? Side of the Chateau de Froquer, up close, on top of the hill overlooking La Glaze. The woman there between General Reynolds and Marie France is the, the mistress of the chateau. That, that's the remains of the old chateau. They've been a chateau here since 1300 or something. It used to have a moat all the way around it. This, yeah, right. this one was built but during the time of the First World War. It's not nearly as old as it looked. Uh, but it was occupied by the Germans in the First World War, and occupied by the Germans in the Second World War, and occupied by C Company and the 291st Engineers. Yes, indeed. And then occupied by the 119th Infantry, who I'm afraid to say, having relieved it of its German owners, then proceeded, the 109th Infantry, to steal all the silver. Oh, no. oh really? Oh, yeah. Dear. The engineers had... And when the first of the 504 attacked the place, they came over that ball-headed field, which is full of barbed wire fences. That's where they got cut mm. up. bedrooms they got here but they couldn't remember. <laughs> yes, that's the very nice. Where was uh, uh, General Hobbs? Hobbs was at um, uh, Franco Shams. Franco Shams in the Hotel Bruyere. What was your estimate of him from what you have read? Very good. Right. Very yeah. solid commander, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first class commander from everything I've read, anyway. Colonel Peregrine was decorated by him, I think, wasn't he? Yes, I think he was. Yeah. And and uh, I think he tried to keep Peregrine and his battalion with him. Yeah. That's right. So Dave told me. Yeah. And he's done a lot of time with his battery, with his army troops. Yes, you see, the engineers didn't lose many men. Yeah. Uh, he, Dave had virtually the same typical powers. We, we would have applied the same, the same logic to, uh, or the same statement to the, to the track driver. We would have said, whoever saw a dead track driver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, and some of them had, had rotten reputations because you had such a, 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 a rapid turnover in personnel that uh, if you wondered where something was, you would ask the track driver because uh, we, uh, we, we were sure they knew every possession that we had <laughs> in the track. The, the outside of the museum, which is adjacent to the house that Marie France Gregoire lives in. She's the watchdog, according to General Reynolds. And they've agreed to let me go inside and tape. This is the first of many panels of photos which they've collected. American commanders during the battle. German commanders, including, of course, Piper himself. The German preparation attack. Moving towards Stavelos to and the glaze. And fighting in 
crystal ball. Interesting relics all around. This is a sand table model of the glaze that Marie France's father built. And it shows the condition of the town at the end of the battle on December the 27th. Behind the scene table is a set of maps showing Piper's progress. The roll bonds. German 120mm mortar that was left behind after the battle. Holes are decorated with many period posters from various countries. And more photo panels. The tail section of a fighter bomber. Tank trap, or tank track. Some of the accoutrements of the U.S. soldier. of the museum is its collection of uniforms. of German caps. By the way, there's a piece of shrapnel stuck in a small tree. An American recon jeep with snow camouflage. Made it to look like a photo in front of it.
them like the other figures in the museum. These are wax casts of two famous American generals who were donated by the U.S. government. General Jim Gavin and General Matthew Ridgeway. This, of course, is supposed to be Colonel Piper. And in a moment, I'll explain why he has no hat. go upstairs, but along the wall is another interesting set of maps. Bicycle of the types used by bicycle troops. Here is a fabulous collection of military. the show Greg War sand table. is concentrate on the area right around the church, which is across the street from the present museum. A few more uniforms.
some hardware. Jeep in the very nice collection of model vehicles. the reason why Colonel Piper has no hat. It seems that just before our visit here, another visitor got up onto this upper level with a fishing pole over the place where Piper statue is sitting and hooked his cap and took it as a souvenir. And we're back outside the museum now with Tiger 213. And I understand that there was a German veteran here yesterday.